This video is one in a series of educational videos produced by the APGA Security and Integrity Foundation to explain the basics of operating a natural gas distribution system. The SIF is a nonprofit organization dedicated to assisting small utilities in the safe operation and maintenance of natural gas piping systems. As you can imagine, you can't just let people start distributing natural gas without any kind of safety standards to follow. That's why the natural gas pipeline system has several layers of regulation going all the way up to the U.S. Congress. So you don't find yourself on the wrong side of the rules, we're going to show you how these different layers of regulation work and who is responsible for what. Federal pipeline safety regulations are included in parts 190 through 199 of Title 49 of the Code of Federal Regulations. Part 192 contains the minimum federal regulatory requirements for the design, construction, operation, maintenance, and integrity of natural gas distribution and transmission pipelines. Part 199 contains requirements for drug and alcohol testing of employees working on regulated pipelines. In other words, it's what Washington, D.C. has to say about how to safely build, operate, and maintain a natural gas pipeline right down to the minimum requirements for qualification of employees. And the regulations apply to any individual, firm, joint venture, partnership, corporation, association, municipality, cooperative association, or joint stock association that is engaged in the gathering, transmission, or distribution of gas by pipeline in or affecting interstate or foreign commerce. The arm of the federal government that implements all this is the Department of Transportation, which was first given this authority by an act of Congress in 1968. Under delegation from the Secretary of the Department of Transportation, the Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration, or PHMSA, directly administers the program and enforces minimum safety standards. Additionally, the National Transportation Safety Board is in charge of investigating incidents and issuing recommendations. Those recommendations often find their way into pipeline safety regulations as well. Every four years, the U.S. Congress passes legislation on pipeline safety. You might hear this called Pipeline Safety Reauthorization, or PIPES Act. Part of what this legislation does is authorize FEMSA to regulate pipelines for another four years, and if necessary, provides additional requirements to be incorporated into regulations. FEMSA is a group of 250 people who do everything from write new regulations, to train inspectors, to manage research and development projects. And one of the many important things they do is work with pipeline regulators at the state level to regulate. The statutes allow states to assume safety authority through certifications and agreements with FEMSA. To participate in the pipeline safety program, states must adopt the minimum pipeline safety regulations. In addition, states may pass more stringent regulations for pipeline safety through their state legislatures. States delegate responsibility for state pipeline safety to a state agency. The state agency may be a public utility commission, a state fire marshal, a state public service commission, or other office. These state agencies perform inspections to evaluate an operator's compliance with pipeline safety regulations. During inspections, a representative of the state agency will evaluate various safety-regulated aspects of your pipeline's plans, procedures, and operations. This includes design, construction, operation, maintenance, integrity management, drug and alcohol testing, incident investigations, operator qualifications, public awareness, emergency response, and more. If an inspector discovers that pipeline safety regulations have not been followed, they may take a compliance or enforcement action, consisting of anything from a warning letter to a notice of probable violation, which may or may not include a civil penalty. It's a challenge that pipeline utilities have to meet to stay in business, adhere to volumes of regulations from multiple levels of government, while providing natural gas at a reasonable price with top-notch public service. Ultimately, these regulations were written to protect you and the citizens of the community that you serve, so it's worth taking the time to study up. For more information, visit apgasif.org or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And for a complete list of videos, go to apgasif.org slash gas operations safety orientation videos.